this a very interesting question. It says there are 25 rooms in a hotel and each room can accommodate at most three people given to you on the question. For each room, the single occupancy charge is given to you as 2000 rupees per day. A double occupancy charge is given to you as 3000 rupees per day and a triple occupancy charge is given to you as 3500 rupees per day. There is an additional information about the day given to you that there are 55 people staying in this hotel rooms today. All right. Now, what is the maximum possible revenue from the room occupancy charges today? Right. Now, let's look at this. Let's say suppose single occupancy rooms were A number of rooms, double occupancy were B number of rooms and triple occupancy were C number of rooms. Now, if this is the case, then my revenue turns out to be what? For From the single occupancy, I'll charge 2000 rupees. So if there are, let's say, four number of single occupancy rooms, then 2000 into four will turn out to be my revenue from single occupancy room. Same way, the charges from the double occupancy room will be 3000 into B and from triple occupancy, it should be 3500 into C. Let's rearrange this revenue equation a little bit to give us the revenue as 2000 into A plus B plus C. If you expand the second equation over here, it will turn out to be the first equation. That's just rearranging the equation, nothing more than that. Now beyond this, there are two other equations given to you. Your first equation is there are a total of 25 rooms in this hotel, right? Now A plus B plus C should be equals to 25. Same way, there are 55 people staying in this. So single occupancy room, of course only one person is there. Double occupancy room, there are two people there, right? So if the number of rooms are B, then the number of people in those rooms will be 2B. Similarly, the triple occupancy will have three people in it, so it should be 3C. The total number of guests staying in this hotel is 55 for the day, so it becomes A plus 2B plus 3C is equals to 55. Now I know the value of A plus B plus C, which is 25. Let me replace in this particular equation over here, and what it gives me is this, which is it is 50,000 plus 500 I've taken common from these two values and made it 500 times of 2b plus c. Now, if you look at this 2b plus c, this 2b plus c is 2b plus 3c is visible over here as well. So 2b plus 3c becomes 55 minus of a. Let us replace it over here in the revenue column and it turns out to be what 50,000 plus 500 into 55 minus of a. If you solve this further, it will turn out to be 50,000 plus 27,500 minus 500 a. Now, if I want to maximize this revenue, then I have to ensure that the reduction from here, which is 500 minus A, should be the minimum. Now, the least possible value that you can think of A is zero. That means there are no single occupancy room is what we are talking about. Now, we can accept this particular value only if it gives you at least one pair of values for B and C each, which are positive or positive integers or zero at max. It cannot be negative number. It cannot be a non-integer for the values of B and C. That's something that we have to keep in mind, right? So let's move on and let's try to look at the equations after putting the value of A equals to zero in this. So if you put the A equals to zero in the first equation, that gives you the value B plus C is equals to 25. Put A equals zero in the second, second equation, it will turn out to be 2B plus 3C is equals to 55. Using these two equations, you can multiply the first equation by a 2. What you are going to get is 2b plus 2c is equals to 50 and subtract these two equations after that. If you subtract these two equations, what is going to happen is you'll get the value of c as 5. And if your value of c is 5, put it back over here in this equation, your value of b turns out to be 20. So now what has ended up happening is at a equals to 0, your value of c and b has given me a pair of integer values. That implies what? That your maximum revenue will turn out to be 77,500. Option D turns out to be the correct answer for this question.